Hi, my name is Stefan Grossman, and I love guitars, and I've had many, many guitars over the last, believe it or not, 50 years. I can't believe it. Old Martin, vintage Martins from the 1930s, old Gibsons and the Vance Jumbo, or I have Stella guitars from the 1920s. But I was fortunate in the 1980s, I met a guitar maker, and he didn't make just guitars, he made magical instruments and they're called Franklin guitars. And what I have here in my lap is a Franklin OM model guitar. It's fashioned after the Martin OM 28 that was made during 1929 to 1933. But Nick Kukrich, the luthier, he has some magic in those fingers. And the guitar is lighter than a Martin, and it has, well, it almost sounds right out of the box once Nick has made it, as if it was made and played for the last 40, 50 years, it sounds immediately like an old vintage instrument. You know, it has that rich sound. Listen. Listen to that deep resonance. And the OM was the first guitar that I really enjoyed to play because I could play tunes like this. Sort of Mississippi John Hurt tunes an alternating bass and the guitar really fits on my body real nice and was real comfortable and I was playing with bare fingers give me red lipstick and a bright pocket rouge a single bobbed haircut and a shot of booze hurry down sweet daddy Come blow my horn If you come too late You know sweet dad Be gone Now listen to this How well balanced the guitar is on my journey of playing country blues guitar and starting off with that type of music, Mississippi John Hurt, this style, this model guitar was just perfect for me. Playing with my bare fingers, not my nails, but the skin, and playing tunes that you were trying to make the guitar sound like a piano. So this old tune from 1942, Mississippi Blues, and listen to how this Franklin O.M., it's just perfect for this style. Perfect balance of that sound. And you can dig into it. even good for playing heavier types of blues and they like Robert Johnson playing something like this you really can sing listen to those notes
Now this is the guitar that I usually recommend to students, an OM body guitar, because it's small, it's comfortable, it's a very balanced sound. Now this guitar specifically, it has a long scale. The aesthetics, well you can always have Nick put on lots of bling. The more bling that you want, well the merrier, he'll accommodate anybody and anything that you want on your guitar. I like just the regular herringbone. I just like the way that looks. It's nice and simple. The teardrop pickguard. This guitar, I was fortunate, and I'm going to turn it around for you, because this has beautiful figured Brazilian rosewood. Nick can build you a guitar like this with Brazilian rosewood, with koa. Several of my friends have koa OMs, sound terrific with mahogany or any other woods that you may be interested in. Each one has a different sound. One of the problems I had though, is after playing tunes like I just played for you, I went up to Reverend Gary Davis's house and he uses finger picks. And I needed to get a guitar that would allow me to play without finger picks like I've just played for you now and with finger picks. So in the 1980s, this is one of the first guitars that Nick made for me. He made me a jumbo that was sort of fashioned after an old Prairie State guitar. Prairie State guitars were made by the Lawson brothers in Chicago. They made Mauer, Euphanon, and Prairie State guitars. It's a big one. It's a big monster. But have a listen to this. Well, this is the guitar I've used to record most of my albums. It's a fantastic recording guitar in the studios. I've taken it on the road around the world 30, 40 years, it seems, by now. A long, long time. And you may have noticed that there's a little round hole here that's been plugged up. This originally had a knob for the pickup, and it was a, just a volume knob. And once that new pickups were being made. Uh, there was a lot of advancement in pickups. Uh, we took that off and Nick just plugged it in for me. Brazilian rosewood again. I've seen these jumbos that people have purchased from Nick in Koa, mahogany. I had actually, uh, in fact I have, the jumbos and also a cutaway jumbos with an Indian rosewood in Koa wood. I had a mahogany one that was just terrific. And this guitar, boy, it saved my life on stage and in recording studios so many times. It just plays with you and it just allows you to play what you want. It just encourages me to play guitar. I mean, just listen to this. And that's with picks. I'm using picks now. But still, and I'll play a couple of tunes without the picks. The sound is just so massive, so full. So if I would do something like Reverend Gary Davis, so I could really do 
dig into it. And if we start playing things like this, some ragtime a la Reverend Davis. And I can do this. Nice and clear, and I can strum the hell out of this instrument. And then play some single strings. Bit of 12 sticks. Now Martin Guitar had made for me a, a signature model which was available for a couple of years and it was very similar to this jumbo model. Uh, the big difference was if you notice the width how the body is not a very deep guitar and that allows it really to project. So it's as deep or maybe a little deeper than the OM that I just played for you. It allows for the booming bass. But if I take off my finger picks, it can also be real sweet. So if I was just gonna strum a full chunky sound, well So for me, this model, this jumbo, is a really perfect all-around suit to the way I play guitar, with picks and without picks. I guess the only disadvantage might be that it's a big mother, man. It, you know, it's big. You won't be able to sit on your couch very easily playing this. That's where the OM comes in. That that's a real comfortable guitar to play, just slouching in the chair or whatever. Both of them, terrific instruments. Each and every, each of them have different sounds. They have different feel. The playing of them is different and the, the touch that the strings have. I have both of them set up just with light gauge strings from 12 to 54. The type of strings I'm using on both of the guitars are just regular 80, 20 bronze. I'm not too crazy about the coded strings. I'm not too crazy about phosphor bronze strings. I just like straight 80, 20s. And the long scale, scale really puts a lot of tension on those strings so that the sound then projects really well. Now, you can call up Nick. He has a website. You know, talk to him about 
what you desire out of your instrument. He makes other types of guitars as well. He makes dreadnoughts. I know he's made slope dreadnoughts. He's made, uh, for me, actually, a guitar like an old Stella with, instead of X bracing, with ladder bracing. And also he made for me an incredible 12 string guitar. So he can make anything and all of them have, I hate to overuse the word, that magic touch that Nick puts on his instruments and gives it that old mojo. Well, I hope this has been of some help to you and if you have any questions, contact Nick. If you want to contact me, you can by easily do it via the website guitarvideos.com. And good luck and enjoy.